Hello everyone and welcome back to the wonderful wacky wild world of Wobble Dogs where I have really great news. The official release of Wobble Dogs is upon us and that means that there are several new updates. I'm so excited you guys. <gasps> there are so many new gut floras. Look at these. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. So yes, Wobble Dogs is now officially released and out of early access and I am so freaking happy about that because it means that there are all sorts of new gut floras, there's new mutations that we can expect from our pups, there's all sorts of new features, and one of the most amazing possible things that has happened. A new way your dogs can actually go ahead and mutate. My friends, one of these mystery gut flora can actually make it so your dogs can fly. There is actually a mystery like gut bug that can give us the power of flight. Wings, wings on our puppies. Isn't that just the most exciting thing you've ever heard? I just cannot wait to see how that is going to look. We're going to have like treetops full of pups. We have all sorts of special new achievements like two-faced hatch or mutate a dog with multiple heads. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, that gives us the fortune cookie from the new food dispenser. That's right. There is actually a new food dispenser as well. So let's actually pop over here. Well, actually, let's pop over into the... Um, here we go. We're going to pop over here into the graveyard because these pups have been very, very hungry lately. <gasps> Tika Rose, hang in there. Yeah, Tika Rose has been very hungry lately, and I think she's hungry for, like, some special new food. So, incubator, space food lab, spooky... Wait, where's the new dispenser? I know there's a new dispenser. It is the dessert dispenser. Let's see. Spooky food, suburban, jungle, space labs, incubator, classic. I wonder if I have to unlock it somehow? And I just haven't unlocked it yet? There's a bunch of mystery ones. Let's see, there's big headed, wide, pea brain. Oh, I had to mutate a dog with a very small head. I bet our pixel puppies would fulfill that. I bet we have to unlock it, you guys, in order to find it. Or maybe there are new foods just in the normal dispensers. So I'm gonna try putting one of them down. Hang in there, Tika Rose. Let's see, so there's nothing here, but we'll go ahead and put down the decorative corn as some food for a minute. Tika Rose, is it just me? I think Tika Rose's legs. I'm pretty sure she didn't have this many legs before. Tika Rose, how did you develop like 8,000 legs? What is going on there? Yeah, I am like 99% sure that Tika Rose did not have that many legs before. So I think the update has somehow managed to make it so that she's just got all of the legs all of the time. Also, she's having a bit of a hard time. Can I pet you, Tika Rose? Is that going to make your life better? No, you hate being pet. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. All right. And now you're getting some food. I'm glad for you. Here, you want to go ahead? You want to eat this one too? There we go. Yeah, Tika Rose is a little bit older now, and she's very cranky. Alright, let's go ahead and clean up this area. Yeah, we need to, like, really redo the graveyard. And I don't blame Tika Rose for having some trouble getting around, because I don't think she had a bazillion legs before. But hopefully we'll be able to, like... Here, Tika Rose, you want to play with a bit of bark? Oh, it must be really hard. Here, we'll grab it. Do you want to grab this bark? Maybe play with it for a minute? All right, maybe I should put some like different types of toys in here because it's just hard for her to mess with everything. This is amazing. All right, Cotton Ball, meanwhile, you know what? Cotton Ball's having a hard time having fun too. That's it. You know what? To celebrate the fact that we have got, oh, what's this button? <gasps> You can tell how many dens should dogs try to build in this room. That's so cool. All right, look, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna give these dogs a little bit of space to be able to play for now. I'm gonna remove a bunch of the darker decorations. Maybe we're gonna go with more of a lighthearted, happy theme for our puppers. Can I move the den? Okay, it doesn't look like I can actually move the den, but we'll kind of work around that. Um, and then maybe I'll clean this room up we have a whole bunch of memorial cores to summon our ghost, but I have been talking about potentially putting the ghost downstairs. So maybe I'll like tidy this room up real quickly. Uh, sweet. Oh, that was immensely satisfying. <gasps> Garcello! Oh, Garcello! Oh, I'm going to miss you! Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I need to get some of the new pups over here. Let's give Garcello all of the, the pets. This cycle of life and death is always so hard, but this is also part of what makes- ah! <laughs> Okay, the worst part about it is when their heads pop off. Oh my gosh, Garcello! At least we managed to get some last pets in with him. Oh my word! Okay, let's see. Tika Rose, I've got to move over here now. And now we've got the little puppy back here and somebody whose core is this oh it's dew oh my gosh yeah we've got a hungry little pup pup all right there you go little one i need to hatch some of the others how on earth are we going to actually manage to get ourselves i guess we need to unlock some of these things hmm pea-brained is definitely new i think big-headed is new so let's actually try hatching a pixel puppy up here and we'll see if that unlocks the new dessert thing. Let's unlock this guy first. <gasps> what a cute pup! Oh my gosh, this is one of Unicorn's pups! Oh, okay, I'm gonna name this one Magi. No, how about we go for... Mysticorn was one of the best dogs we've ever had. Uh, we're gonna go with Miss Lily, which sounds really silly. But it's a great name, and I promise I will use your guys' names from the comments in a random comment generator in the future. I'm just like on on a, a like a little bit of a focused moment here, trying to bring the puppies over to enjoy what they can before they puppate. Speaking of puppating, we do have Doodle and Snacks who need to go ahead and pop out. Hello, little one. Oh, Doodle. I love the brighter colors that Doodle has got. Some nice shiny shine going on there. Good job, Doodle. Let me go ahead and clean this up real quick. There we go. I'm gonna destroy the cocoons for now. Well, I guess I could leave them. If these guys wanna start getting multiple legs, they're never gonna be Tika Rose out. But wait a second, Snacks, look at you. Snacks looks more like a little bit of tomato spilled on the floor now. Oh, and look at that little mouth. I like the little line for his mouth. Snacks, you're a freaking adorable. I'll try to get you some like longer legs at some point. All right, so I think we need to go ahead and hatch one of the pixel pups. And I'm really glad. Oh, that's a tiny head. If that isn't a tiny head, I don't know what is. And what are we gonna name you? Hmm, we're trying to get desserts. So what's a really small yummy dessert, like a kiss? Like one of those little chocolate kisses. Hmm. Or an m, &M. Ooh, that'd be kind of cute. Maybe we'll name that one m, m Because that would be really adorable. All right. Meanwhile, we do have a dog to hatch over here as well. Right? Oh, there we go. This little one's doing their best. Oh, a lot of a lot of sudden lag because we've got a new puppers coming out. And this one, little one I'm going to name... <gasps> The fur pattern is different. I've never seen this fur pattern on dogs before. Oh, you're so perfect. Okay, we're gonna name you Rosebush. Cause there's a lot going on here. There you go, little Rosebush. Rosebush, I think you ended up, oh my good word. Yeah, Rosebush, oh, you're so wiggly. Tika Rose! Oh, rest in peace, Tika Rose. I think your legs freak everything out cause there's so many of them. You never wanted to be pet, so I won't pet you in your final moments. <gasps> Tika Rose, she had hearts all over her body. That did not happen before, you guys. Oh my gosh, Rosebush. How many legs do you have? How is this even possible? Whoa, okay, sorry guys. I think T Rosebush's multiple legs like freak everything out. So we'll have to be cautious in going near Rosebush. Uh, but otherwise, we have Miss Lily in here with Snacks, who is now a teen. Meanwhile, uh-oh. Meanwhile, I think a certain glutton, Coats, you don't need to steal all of those. I need the other dogs to have a chance to eat that too. All right, a certain glutton is getting all of Garcello's lineage. Aha, Coats, you're gonna go ahead and I am going to puppet you. Now that you have eaten enough, we're not going to let Garcello's lineage go to waste. Yeah, it looks like, do we have one of the new dogs as a glutton? Because this is a big mess of half-eaten food. That's a waste of Garcello's hard work. All right, Snacks, you're actually... Here, Snacks, I'm going to have you come here. Rosebush is downstairs. Oh, good job, Rosebush. You know what to do. She's already headed over to get all of the valuable, valuable gut biome DNA 
There we go, some good mutations coming in. How many legs is that? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hi, Rosebush, hang on. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, uh-oh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay, wait, 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 all right, okay, that's, we're over 60 now, guys, I think we have a, oh my gosh, there's still more. They're still piled on top of each other. <gasps> this definitely broke with the update. You guys, I think we have a 100 legged dog. Oh my gosh. All right, I think we might be, well actually if you count the front the front legs too, I think we might have actually ended up with a 100 legged dog. And that's why Rosebush has so many legs. I wish there was some way you could like look at her stats somehow and just find out like how many legs she's got because that's ridiculous. All right, meanwhile, Miss Silly, how you doing? Trying to figure out how your legs work. I'm gonna send you into the other room with snacks in just a second. And then we're going to hatch uh, Imadim, L and L. Like, what am I going to name? I think we'll go ahead and name this puppy that's going to be coming out in a second, Eminem, for the Pixel Pup. And we'll have to see. Yes, there we go. Good job, guys. Don't let Garcello's contribution to the family lineage go to waste. And then meanwhile, we have a glutton who's polite with mist. All right. All right. So let's hatch this Pixel Pup. And we're going to see if it gets us the achievement that we're aiming for of pea-brained. Hatch or mutate a dog with a very small head. And we'll have to see if we can work from there to figure out how to unlock the new genes that we can actually get access to. Because I'm very excited about all these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 new gut flora as yet undiscovered. And... All right, we're gonna go ahead and name this one Eminem. Hello, Teensy Tiny. Oh no, I should actually have named you P. You know what? Never mind, because we unlocked the uh, the like very Teensy. Oh, are you gonna eat that whole like pancake by yourself? That is definitely some boldness. So this one's an aloof, rude little one who I think I might name. I love the name Peapod. I'm actually very like very 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 attached to the name Peapod. Um. Maybe just like pea? Bean? Little bean? I mean, I guess I wouldn't want to eat a pea or a bean for like a dessert. But at the same time, I don't know. Like, you can make black beans. Oh! Goal complete! Ancient! Hang on here! What just happened? Raise a dog that lives long enough to become ancient. <gasps> Burnt dog biscuit! For use with the dessert food dispenser. Oh, I really want the dessert food dispenser. All right, pea marine, what did you get us? A jukebox! Okay, that's really cute. All right, so then we also have a bit more wobbly, which I still haven't unlocked. Wide, big-headed, and then a bunch of mysteries. It's back on it, guys! We have resumed the wonders of science and the mad laboratory science-esque stuff that we get down to here in our lab. Uh, also, there's just dogs flying everywhere. Don't mind that. All right, where's Eminem? Zero minutes old. Eminem, I'm going to rename you in honor of unlocking the... I think you're going to be pea-brained? Hmm. How about... How about pea-pod? That's... I mean, that's cute. I really love that name. All right, fine. You can have it. That's one of my favorite names. I, I like, named my computer pea-pod. I'm wearing literally a necklace that is a pea-pod necklace with little kittens as the peas right now. I, I have this weird thing about peas. I just think that they're really cute plants. So, Peapod, uh, do be careful. It looks like Mr. Corn is trying to steal your pancake. Uh, but, you you know, use caution. Do well. Uh, and meanwhile, let's see. Where is my 100-legged rosebush? Oh, this is going to take these guys a while. Yeah, this is this is ancient. Wait, how did Cotton Ball become ancient? Well, Cotton Ball, I mean, the legs are going to go to waste if somebody doesn't eat them. But still, like, Rosebush has eaten everything she can. Oh, and she's ready to pop it already! 
Yeah, look at that. As soon as Rosebush goes to sleep, everything starts moving faster. We're gonna have to be very, very, very careful about having a 100 leg dog, I think. I think it could cause problems if you're not cautious. And meanwhile, Mist Lily, also brand new puppy, is ready to go ahead and be in her little cocoon. <laughs> but we're doing it, you guys! There's suddenly a lot happening and we're going to really have to dive into the mysteries and the science of trying to unlock all of the features that our little wobble dogs have to offer. Hello, Doodle! How are you doing? And I'm a little nervous. Oh my gosh, there was another pup. There's snacks. I'm a little nervous about seeing like what is going to happen with having a 100 leg dog because I'm pretty sure we didn't have 100 legs on Rosebush before and now we might, but I'm sure everything will be fine. All right, let's patience, patience. Oh boy, there we go again. Yep, we're gonna need to be very careful. Rosebush? We, we might have to go ahead. Look at them! I might have to go ahead and actually quarantine Rosebush just because she slows- Don't eat it! So you have even more legs, you silly pup! Wait a second, did she unlock- <gasps> A sun-faded floor that looks like it's falling apart from age? What does that mean? Where did it come from? Where could I find more? All right, I am excited. This is gonna be fun. No, cotton ball, for crying out loud. Drop- Drop, drop her? Or like, wait a second, is that Rosebush? Rosebush, don't fight. There's enough legs for everyone, trust me. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so, so much for joining me on this big, big, exciting news about Wobble Dogs. I am very tickled about the update. I cannot wait to see how we are going to make it so our dogs have wings. We're going to have to start getting back into the science of everything once more and taking good care of making this place feel like a happy home for our pups to grow up in. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for all of our little puppies, including the very, very tiny pea pod determined to steal pancakes as far as she can. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.